Hello again guys and welcome to my channel. This is a series about flow control in Unreal Blueprints in which I cover the nodes that are frequently used in making game logic and help us control the flow of our blueprints. In this one I talk about do n. In order to find it just right click in your event graph and type flow and after that type do n. If you only type do n it cannot find it and it shows you other things so type flow and then do n so you give it a hint about what you are exactly looking for. If you are familiar with for loop which I explained in another video you can see that they are pretty much similar and look like each other. The difference here is that when you have a loop node which is shown by this circular arrow it will start repeating the functions in a loop until it reaches the number of repetitions you defined and then it will stop. Meaning that it only needs to be called once to repeat the set of actions one after another. But do n is not a loop and as we can see it is shown by a straight arrow. Meaning that if you only call it once it will start the functions connected to it only for one time regardless of the value you define for n. For example let's put it on 4 and as you can see it only calls the print string function once and doesn't care about the value of the n. The use case for the do n node is when a series of functions are called many times but you only want them to be run for a certain number of times. In order to showcase it, I am gonna use an event tick instead of an event begin play. Event begin play is only called once after you start the game but event tick runs on every frame. So for example if your game is running 60 frames per second, event tick will be called 60 times per second as well. You can see that when I connect it to the print string, it runs it on every frame and types it on my screen. Now let's say that I want to run the code only for 10 times and then stop. This is where do n can be used. Let's connect it to the event tick and connect the print string to the exit and put it on 10. And now as you can see the print string is only called 10 times and after that it has been stopped. Another way to think of a do n is that it lets everything pass for a certain amount of numbers and after that it blocks the flow and does not let anything pass anymore. Here you see a reset executable and as you have probably guessed when it's triggered it will reset the node and let everything happen like the first time it was called and then after that it will stop and block the flow based on this number here. So let's enable our input to be able to use our keyboard and see what happens exactly when we trigger reset. Just add enable input to the event begin play and then connect get player controller to it. Now we are ready to use our keyboard and we are able to give input to our blueprint. Here type keyboard and select a key for it. Here I am going with Vaughn and then I am gonna connect it to the reset executable in my do and node. Now what will happen is that it lets the print string function for 4 times and then stop the flow but when I press 1 on my keyboard it lets the flow continue for 4 more times and then stops it again and the process will repeat every time I hit 1 on my keyboard. Yeah and that was a quick review of 2N and I hope you learned something new and enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.